Hi, Dex. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so good. You have a beard. Thank you for calling it that. What do you? What, That's you, like calling a spaghetti strainer a, a cereal bowl. There's just a lot of holes. It's not really a beard, but there is hair there. No, there's a good beard there. What happened is I forgot my electric shaver when we went to my mom's for Christmas, uh -huh. and so it kind of grew out for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And then when we got home, Kristen said, "Oh, you look so cute with this scruff." Which after ten and a half years, I hear that, and I will keep this until she tells me otherwise. Yeah. She could tell me I look good in an eye patch, and I would wear an You'd eye. You'd wear patch. an eye patch. <laughs> Anything she thinks I look cute in, I'm doing. That's adorable. Yeah. And so you'll keep it for as long as you serious. You, are, are you, you're not working. You're not. It's not for a character. Don't point out the fact that I'm not working. <laughs> this is a hard business. No, it was okay? a. It was, it was Jeez a, Louise. It was a question. If I. So you haven't worked in some time, huh? <laughs> no. I, I meant was I should have started. You're with, really it, free it, to look any way you want. <laughs> you should put on some pounds. <laughs> Um, uh, it's not no, for a character. It's not for a character. That's well, no, just the role of husband. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And I've, I noticed that you're painting your nails now. I am not painting my nails. It was my birthday a couple weeks ago, and my four-year-old wanted to give me a manicure pedicure. She did a fair job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now I will have this until it wears off. Really? Yeah. Wow. Can you see that the women in my life are just deciding everything yeah. for me? Like, yeah. you're going to paint painted nails and a beard. And I go, OK. Yeah, but that's cute that you do that. Yeah. I, I think that's sweet. That's sweet. You know, well, I turned 43. And, and, and um, you know, I'm, I'm starting to notice some unfortunate things. I have some, some heavy wrinkling here on the eye area. I don't know if you guys are catching that in the audience. <laughs> There's some gray in this spaghetti strainer. Uh, but what really hit me uh, recently is I've been watching 60 Minutes for 35 years. I started watching it with my grandparents. None of the commercials have ever made sense to me because it's for older people. Yes. I've been watching the show lately, and I'm like, my joints hurt. <laughs> yeah, I pee all, all the time, all night long, I'm peeing. <laughs> and I find myself writing down the names of medications now while I'm watching 60 Minutes and bringing them to my doctor. <laughs> I'm considering a reverse mortgage. Wow. Uh, do you have a reverse mortgage? Uh, no, I don't have that. Okay. No, I'm we not looking into look that. We should look into that. I will. I'll, I'll see if that. <laughs> Let's go together. I'll, I'll talk to my money guy and say <laughs> I, I need yeah. to do that. Um, what's this poster that you have uh, of Antonio Banderas in your, in your bedroom? Why do you? I saw that in the meeting this morning, and I was like, <laughs> where is that? Uh, that's directly above our marital bed. Uh, <laughs> I'm above Kristen, and she's shooting up at me. So that's behind my head. Uh, and the reason that's there is, um, and, and this is one of my favorite things about Kristen, is as a kid, uh, when she was like 13, she decorated her room, as teenagers do, and she had an Antonio Banderas poster. And I learned this early on into dating her. And I thought, that's a pretty advanced poster to get. It's not like Jonathan Taylor Thomas or something. Right. This guy's a barracuda. I mean, he's. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is a dangerous man. And so as I came to know her over time, I, I finally said to her, like, three years after that, I said, "Hun, did, did you love Antonio Banderas, or did you get that poster because your friends had it? And she said, my friends had that poster, which made me love her so much. So I've told this story a bunch. Our best friend, Monica, snuck into our, our, our bedroom when we were out of town and hung that above the bed. <laughs> and let me tell you the magic of this poster. No matter where you're laying in the room, and you look at that poster, he's making direct eye contact with you. <laughs> I don't know what the science is of this poster, but anywhere you're at in the room, he's making direct eye contact. And we will lay in bed. I go, you sure he's looking directly at you? And she goes, no, he's looking at me. Let me tell you a hidden benefit of this poster. As a man, sometimes you want to prolong the act of lovemaking. And it's challenging. So men will think about baseball or car accidents or their mother or whatever they do. <laughs> so I will occasionally just check in with Tony B, <laughs> make eye contact with him, and I can just, however long she'd like this activity to continue. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. So. If you're a man and you want to extend things, I do recommend a Tony B above the bed. Okay.